In general, once you open up, there's going to be a delay. There's going to be uh, one case will turn into to two cases, and it will kind of grow exponentially from there. Um, but it takes a little while to actually see that signal in the same way that we uh, that we that it takes a little bit of time to see the signal when an epidemic first begins. If there's going to be increased spread again because of opening businesses, I don't anticipate that it would be this week, but it might be a few weeks from now that we would actually start to see um, little pockets. We'll learn a lot over the over the coming weeks and months about whether or not this is going to be a long-term change. If we have you know, the other option is that we have actually been doing a sufficiently good job to roll out testing and, and get surveillance efforts in place that maybe we would we would be able to catch cases before they become very large outbreaks. Uh, I don't think that that's really the case. I don't think we have necessarily um, gotten testing and surveillance efforts to where they really need to be to make that a reality uh, and to, to prevent uh, large outbreaks from happening. I've seen everyone trying to do what they can, but no real effort, or I should say no real structural changes that would potentially protect these people um, in the future. And so my concern is that we'll end up right back where we, where we have been with major cities uh, having healthcare systems that get overrun quickly. Um, because of major outbreaks that that happen in you know one nursing home, you know today a different nursing home or or center tomorrow, or just uh, across the population in apartment buildings, you know places where this virus will transmit quickly. Uh, so so that's I, I'm I'm afraid that we'll just end up repeating the past.